guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another Costco Canada haul. And in today's video or today's shopping trip, I actually spent around like $280, which is the lowest I've spent in months at Costco. So yay me for sticking to somewhat of a budget. Of course, as you guys know, I did pick up some things that weren't at all on my list, but I was just mainly picking up some more back to school stuff for the girls. Before we go into this video, I do want to take this time to remind you guys, if you're new, I'd love you to go ahead and subscribe. It helps my channel grow. Also give this video a thumbs up and turn on your post notifications that we don't miss out on any videos coming up next on my channel. And with all that being said, now let's officially get right into this haul. So the first few things I'm going to start with are household staples. Costco this time had a ton of things on sale, but I feel like I've said that for the last few trips. But anyway, so I picked up some laundry detergent. We buy the Purex one. You just get like a crazy amount of loads for this. And again, this is on sale. It has 225 loads. Next up, we got some Cascade pods and this is the Power Clean. I love Cascade. It's the only thing that I use in my dishwasher. And this was also on sale as an executive member. So I was able to get the laundry detergent and the dish detergent on a sale and it was exclusive. We're also running super low on our Dawn Power Wash spray. So I just got some more because we were running low and I obviously needed to re-up. This wasn't on sale. I would obviously much rather prefer to buy this on sale, but it's such a staple in the house. Whenever we're not using our dishwasher, we're power washing everything with this spray. I can't say enough about this. Actually, you know what? Comment and let me know if you guys have tried this or if you still feel like it's just overpriced and not worth it. I'm telling you right now, this is 100% worth it and it's definitely a little bit up there in price, but it's so worth it and your house smells amazing when you use it. And I also did a review on this, so I'm gonna go ahead and link that below so you can check it out in case you haven't had a chance to do that already. I also went ahead and picked up a new pack of the Downy Unstoppables. We were running low on this. So something I'm trying to do now that we've been in this pandemic for over two years is with our laundry stuff, I try to always have an extra one on reserve because you just never know when it's not gonna be available, which has happened to me before. My laundry detergent was not available for like two, three months. So I learned my lesson and I get this stuff in advance from now on. Next up, I went ahead and got this base layer kind of like I don't know what you call it, but I got this for my husband. He definitely likes to wear stuff like this when he's at work. And it's just like a base layer to help keep you a little bit warm. So I saw it and I was like, let me just pick him up a little something because I actually didn't get anything for myself this time. So I made sure I got something for him instead. Next up, we were actually out of our chosen foods, avocado oil. This is my favorite oil to have in the house. So I just went ahead and picked up another one. All right, so next I picked up some pistachios. I like to buy the shelled ones because ain't nobody have time to shell pistachios myself. It just hurts my fingers. They're not about that life anymore, but this is the Kirkland brand, you guys. So if you guys didn't know this already, but the Kirkland brand is the Costco's signature brand, and the signature brand offers a really great quality for an unbeatable price, and I'm pretty sure if I were to get shelled pistachios anywhere else, I'd be spending way over $25 on a bag, and I doubt that the bag would be this big. This is a lot song in our house, but we just love Kirkland brand stuff, and these pistachios. If you like pistachios, buy these, try them, let me know if you like them, because I guarantee that you will. Next up on our Kirkland sprue, we also went ahead and picked up more of our Nutella, our hazelnut spread. I did receive like a healthy version in my box subscription that I have like from last month, but the girls are not about that life. There's no sugar added, they don't like it, so it has to go in the trash. We were actually out of this, so I just made sure I picked up more. This is equivalent to like actual Nutella. It tastes just the same, but again, because it's the Kirkland brand, you get the best value and you get a great quality product as well. Oh my god, you guys, I didn't even realize I had this much Kirkland stuff today, but I also got more of our favorite frozen meatballs. This is also the Kirkland brand. I'm telling you guys, it's so good. You have to try it. Then they also had on sale this time the Kirkland Double Cheddar Shredded Cheese. I use this for all kinds of stuff. It's just good to put in the freezer and you use whenever you want. You don't have to worry about it going bad. And again, the Kirkland brand is just unbeatable. You just get two bags, you guys. Two bags for basically the price of one in the grocery store. And the quality of this cheese is so good. 
So because the girls are heading back to school, they love like ham and turkey. I always get it from the grocery store, but I feel like I'm gonna try this, the natural selection by Maple Leaf. It's a two pack that has, I think, 400 grams in each pack, so it's 800 grams. This was only like $15, and I spent $20 on like four or 500 grams in the store. So I really hope that they like this. It says that it's made with natural ingredients, just turkey, water, cultured sugar, sea salt, vinegar, potato starch, and spice. It says that it's also nitrate free, gluten free. I'm just hoping that they like this because this will actually help save us a little bit of money, especially when it comes to lunches. I also went ahead and grabbed them some nano yogurts. This is a, how many, I think 24 come in here. You get strawberry and you get raspberry. These are just drinkable yogurts. So easy to pack for snacks for back to school. You just literally toss this in their lunch bag and they're good to go. So yeah, I'm so excited that we have a big pack of this because I bought a small pack the last time and they didn't last at all. So this is just great for us and great for snacks for back to school or if you're packing a lunch and it just doesn't have enough, just toss one of these in there and you'll be good to go. Then we went ahead and picked up one bunch of organic bananas. They were really beat up this time. So I'm just hoping that when these get ripe, they actually taste good because I honestly don't even know if this is gonna taste good. And this time we also picked up a huge bag of the clementines. Again, these are perfect for packing in lunches and for snacks because two of these, the girls can go through in like two seconds. And what I like about this is that it's easier for kids to peel, so it's a little bit less work or labor on my end. I just toss this in their lunch bag and again, lunches and snacks are easy. Next up, I picked up some green grapes. They were really good the last time we got green grapes and I feel like Costco had them for a pretty reasonable price this time around. So I just went ahead and picked this up because we're always having fruit. And you guys, in this haul, I didn't pick up any apples because for the last two or three weeks that I've bought apples, apples just have not tasted good. They just haven't been the best. So we're ditching the grocery store and Costco apples and we're gonna go apple picking several times this season. So definitely stay on the lookout for that and that's why there's not gonna be any apples coming up soon because we're gonna have enough apples to last us hopefully a month or two, maybe even three. We'll see how much we can pick and how many times we can go to our local farm and get some apples ourselves because nothing is better than freshly picked apples. All right, and so the last two produce items, I picked up some organic baby spinach because we just need some organic baby spinach. And I also picked up this creamy dill pickle salad. I've been eating like crap for most of summer and I'm trying to get back into eating healthy again. And an easy quick lunch for me as a creator is just like a salad kit. I feel like between juggling the girls, juggling being a wife, juggling my house chores and everything else that I have to do, if I can just treat myself to like a quick easy lunch that's gonna be nutritious, delicious, and all the work is done for me, these salad kits are gonna come in handy. And again, this is a creamy dill pickle. Sally Kid. One of my subscribers actually recommended I try this like a few months ago and I've been hooked ever since then. So thank you so much. Next up, I got a three pack of water bottles for the girls. These are the Contigo brand. They're 24 ounces. It comes in the color purple, pink, and like a reddish orange. They have different colors that you can choose from. And again, these are 24 ounces. I got these for the girls because they drink a lot of water. And I don't think that the normal kid size stuff that they have is gonna be enough for them. We already have some, and now I'm just getting more. All right, and then next up for quick and easy dinners, I got more of this Vaseloins. It's just like an alternative to tilapia. It's just a plain white fish. Literally, it takes on any flavor, anything that you like. But I got this because it makes life easy. All right, so next up, we got some goldfish crackers. We were in the snack aisle, and the girls really wanted to get these. They were on sale. I really didn't want to get it, but we got it anyways. The good news about this box is that it's not individually packed, which means you get a lot more for the value, and you can definitely not go wrong with that. Next, I went ahead and grabbed these Hello Panda chocolate kind of cookies. It's like cookies on the outside with like chocolate in the middle. 
the girls, again, they saw this and they're like, can we get this? And again, they were being so good. So I just said, sure, you can never go wrong with all these extra snacks. You guys, I know I'm buying them a ton of snacks, but they're not gonna eat it all in one day or at one time. We're just gonna have a rotation going and it'll give them a chance to pick and choose their snacks, which will hopefully mean that there's less things that come home and they actually get to finish everything at school. All right, you guys, so we've officially come to the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. Also, don't forget to turn on your post notifications. That way you don't miss out on any videos coming up next on my channel. And with all that being said, I'll see you guys in my